Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's the time of the month. It's time for our monthly journal series. In today's episode, obviously, it's the end of August, so we're doing the August journal. Last month, quite a few people requested that they would like to have the option of whether they want the subtitles or not. So this month, I'm trying a new option, which is putting the Chinese title within the YouTube system. So you need to manually click on the right hand side. And today I'm drinking the Taiwanese beer in pineapple because it's a Sunday. I am filming a video, so you know. Let's talk about summer. I feel like I've lost the memory of being in summer vacation because I graduated two years ago and it just sounds so far and I kind of forgot. Right now, people are going back to school and it just doesn't make any difference to me anymore. According to our tradition, I'm gonna share something that I really love this month. And this time is this bag. Um, this is a bag from Bira Bira and has my initial on it. It says CH. It is purely a gift from the brand and I'm very appreciative. I've always wanted to be like more girly, classy, or just elegant once in a while because I'm just always in the same white shirts and the jeans and you know, to keep that tomboy trait of mine. This is kind of what I like about English culture. This bag to me kind of equals to English style. I brought this bag with me to Japan when I visited Ian like a couple weeks ago. Even though it's very compact, I feel like it can fit so many necessary stuff like my phone, my small wallet, maybe my charger, my lipstick, and transportation card, just all the stuff that you need to you know, survive a day, like can pretty much just fit it all into the bag. The style of it just kind of like add on to your outfit. Just make you feel like elegant and pretty Aww. and girly and yeah. I genuinely love this bag. Even my mom says that it's pretty and that says a lot. And next I'm gonna talk about a show which is a Netflix series called Blacklist. I think I talked about this in my last video, but I just want to mention again, okay? I've been always a big fan of, you know, like FBI, CSI, crime scene and stuff like that. But Blacklist is on another level. It is not about catching the bad guys. It's about like a criminal itself trying to help the FBI to catch the bad people. I don't know how to explain the story. What I like about it is it's so connected. Every episode when you watch it, it's just like one more truth unfold. But yeah, it has four seasons and I'm now on season four. So I'm very sad if I'm gonna finish it very soon. I need to find other drama basically. Now come to more like sentimental part. I'm gonna try my best to explain how I feel. Everyone has their own life and everyone make different choices because everyone is different and they're unique. Right now I'm facing a challenge where I might have to sacrifice something that I really want in my life for something that I also value a lot. Sometimes there are people who will suggest you or give you advice and that got me realize that it all comes down to what I want in life. Like what kind of life I want to live. You might receive a lot of different advices from other people, but it doesn't mean that you have to follow their advice. I want this to be my own decision, not because other people said so. I know it sounds easy and simple. I got distracted by other people's opinion all the time because they might be more experienced in life or you just feel like they know better. But to be honest, I would make the decision if I think that's the best for me. I shouldn't feel like other people's opinion is always better. Obviously it might be and they probably actually know better. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but I hope you will understand a little bit of what I'm trying to say. Be yourself and live your own life. I should make my own decision whether it's a good thing or a bad thing because other people can only say things based on their standpoint and not from yours. You are living your own life, so why not just follow what you actually think and if you have to make a choice, then you will not regret at all. That was a mouthful explanation of what I want to say, but I mean, I'm a complicated person, so I hope you understand. And next, I'm gonna share a YouTube channel that I've never talked about on my other videos. It is called Invisible People. This channel is not for entertainment. It's more like a channel for documentary. Basically, they interviewed homeless people across the nation in America. They had a conversation, they talk about their story, like why they ended up on the street and this is a very heartbroken channel to watch because you just 
realize that there's so many unseen things in the world imagine that it's not just in the united states it's in china it's in taiwan it's in brazil it's in africa it's everywhere i just feel like i always take things for granted uh, from time to time and when i think about how much i have and how lucky i am on this channel you will see people very devastated or they still have some hope in life even though they're in such a difficult situation where they're living on the street probably are in danger because of the gain they still feel like living is a blessing i appreciate that a lot and just to remind myself not to take everything for granted because we shouldn't youtube to me is a platform where you can share different perspectives of life whether it's entertainment or lifestyle or music but i'm very glad to see someone would take the chance to kind of use it as an outlet to deliver the message i think we need that and last but not least i just want to share that i've been very grateful for everyone who have been in my life because i'm very emotional so i can be very happy in the morning and very very sad at night that's just my personality i like i appreciate that i have friends who understand that without thinking i am just being very fake and dramatic because i'm just so happy in the morning and being so sad at night i think it's a good chance to just look around your surrounding and see are the people around you give you positive vibes do they understand you but of course you have to treat them the way that you want to be treated i think it's just so important to kind of check it once in a while um, i checked it this month and i'm very happy very grateful I'm so positive today. So yeah, this is um, what I want to say in August. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Please let me know in the comments below if you like the new format, which I put the Chinese subtitles within the YouTube system. I hope you guys will enjoy today's video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow my Instagram right here. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. You should decide. Am I doing the commercial correctly? By the way, I'm on my sister's room. I didn't tell her, don't tell her. Um, I love her room. Her room is so much bigger than mine. Yvonne, if you're watching, I love you. And you know, sisters share. <laughs>